Okonkwo, Ikemefuna, and Umofia are names that kept ringing bells while reading Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart. After reading the novel, he couldn't help but sculpt this 15 feet piece. Here I try to capture Okunkwa as a major character and um, more or less I try to capture the rise of Okunkwa and the thing that started his downturn, that started his fall, became Ikem Efuna. Ikem Efuna in the Igbo language means let my power or my authority not be lost. So the moment he slaughtered Ikem Efuna, his power and his authority as a great man started diminishing. Culture and tradition of the Igbos also interest him a lot. These people are warriors who um, they said were undaunted and uh, could not die. So they were great people that had swords that had to bring down the fellow warriors who are great people. So to show the greatness, I had to put the feathers in their caps just like the foot. Okay, so it simply means with this sword they bring down those great heads of the great warriors. And then the Ohakia people, the warriors, they have the palm tendrils in the mouth and the moment it gets into their mouth, at the point in time it happens, automatically they have become spirits. They have graduated to the moon, from the mundane human being that dies naturally to a spirit that lives forever, more or less. So, more or less, to me, I understand that they don't die. So, I try to kill them by scooping their belly and removing their intestines, removing their hearts, piercing through the spinal cord, cutting it in two so that I paralyze their authority and their audacity and their movement forward. But they keep going on. So to me it's a crazy thing that after doing all that they still keep going on. So I go behind them and scoop their head, their brain away so that they die because without the brain you have to die. But unfortunately they are still moving. So they have graduated from a physicality that will naturally die to a spirituality that will resist death. So at this point in time that's why they are looking forward. They are seeing a tomorrow we cannot see because we are mundane. And there is a yesterday that is behind them and this yesterday they cannot go back to. That is why when they want to go backwards, they turn. They don't go back with their back. To them, yesterday is dead and gone. But then I try to capture an embodiment of yesterday that is behind them they don't want to get involved with and tomorrow that they see we cannot see and the present physicality of today that you're witnessing. Since he left school 24 years ago, Cyril Wokoli has never exhibited he says he was bullied into participating in this group show. What do you have against the exhibitions? Uh, I don't even have the time. Because uh, there are so many babies to give birth to, and I've risen like a son, and it's my business to give the rays to the plants that are growing quickly. Uh, that is by giving birth to my babies. Cyril says he does more of commissioned jobs, and so spending time with trees and wild animals in the forest brings more reward. It's uh, greater than what you might call love. And I find more than joy, something greater than joy in what I'm doing. All I know is I'm just living out my life. And I just see it like um, a life I've come to live. And I I've come to do so many things and so many babies I have to give birth to.